I felt I was one of the luckiest guys on earth. For someone in my profession that has the interest I had, then it was wonderful. It was like you won the lottery, only even better. We went 240,000 miles and to land right within, maybe perfectly or within 10 feet at least, of your target. That's pretty amazing. And it shows how people in mission control and the tracking sites and the computer areas were able to refine what we could do. One of the things that I've loved about NASA is uh, it never sits still. I have the fondest memories of that particular mission, uh, even perhaps more than Apollo, because uh, I was a more skilled astronaut by then, and also it's a lot more difficult to stay in space and be motivated for two months than it is to go on uh, to the moon for 10 days. Going to the moon for 10 days is like going to f Paris for your first visit or something. It's good, every day is different. Hats off to the people that fly the space station now. It's day after day of hard work. And even though you have a nice view out the window, it, that doesn't uh, kind of pay you back for the constant effort that you have to put out to be productive in space. After Skylab, I began to say, you know, I've seen sites that no other artist in all of history has ever seen. If I could paint that well enough, Maybe I could do something wonderful in the art world. My theory is they should have taken artists along with Christopher Columbus because that would have been a nice uh, thing to know what happened when he got there, what the other captains of the other ships looked like, what the crew looked like. So artists are, are nice uh, things to have around. It just further celebrates one of the great human accomplishments.